There comes a moment in every era of science when the very ground beneath us trembles. Not from earthquakes or explosions, but from the shock of knowledge. From revelations so profound they split open the accepted framework of reality. A discovery that doesn't merely shift our understanding, but redefines it. One that exposes how little we actually know. And that moment has just arrived. For decades, humanity stared into the night sky with a singular ambition, to understand our place in the cosmos. We launched telescopes, probes, and satellites. We mapped the heavens and deciphered the whispers of ancient starlight. But all of this was merely preparation. A prologue. Because when we sent the James Webb Space Telescope into orbit, we believed, truly believed, that we were ready. Ready to witness the beginning of time. Ready to uncover the first galaxies, the birth of stars, and the ancient scaffolding of the cosmos. We thought we knew the questions to ask. But we were wrong. Webb was never just a telescope. It was a golden eye, designed not only to see deeper into space than ever before, but also further back in time. Its sensitive instruments, cooled near absolute zero, were built to detect the faintest echoes of creation itself. Scientists hoped it would confirm theories, extend timelines, and refine our understanding of the universe's earliest moments. And it did. But then it did something else. Behind the breathtaking images of galaxies blooming like cosmic flowers, behind the swirling star nurseries and perfectly composed fields of color and dust, there was something more. A stream of data that few paid attention to. Something buried beneath the beauty. Raw, unprocessed information. Chaotic, noisy, seemingly meaningless to the human eye. These weren't the images published in press releases. This was the metadata. The quantum level readouts. Photons arriving out of order. Temperature fluctuations. Gravitational noise. Tiny variances. Anomalies. The kind of data most astronomers dismissed. But someone decided not to ignore it. That someone was Google's quantum AI division. The same minds who had unlocked quantum supremacy and reshaped the future of artificial intelligence. They proposed a bold idea, one that seemed like science fiction. What if this chaotic mess of telemetry wasn't noise? What if it was a signal? A code waiting to be deciphered? Not with traditional models or logic, but with something else entirely. A machine that could detect patterns hidden within disorder. A system trained not on certainty, but on uncertainty. So they fed it in. All of it. Into Sycamore Q, their most advanced quantum neural network. Unlike classical computers, Sycamore Q doesn't compute in binary. It operates in qubits, probabilities, superpositions, entangled states. It doesn't just solve problems. It feels around the edges of reality, exploring all possibilities simultaneously. And when it touched Webb's deepest data, everything changed. Suddenly, the screen lit up. Patterns emerged where none should exist. Photons those tiny messengers of light, arrived in sequences that shouldn't be possible. Echoes in the data reflected from impossible angles. More than that, gravitational lensing, long understood to bend light inward due to massive objects, was seen bending outward. As if something wasn't attracting gravity, but repelling it. This phenomenon repeated in multiple, unrelated sky sectors. First, scientists assumed it was a calibration error. Maybe a faulty instrument. Maybe noise. But then the AI did what no human can. It layered the anomalies, stacked the distortions, and revealed something far stranger. Symmetry. Across vast distances, the distortions align. Mirrored perfectly along spatial axes. Galaxies billions of light years apart showed correlated deflections. As if space itself were folded. As if something massive, but invisible, existed just beyond the curtain of observable reality. A gravitational mirror. And it kept pointing to a specific region. One already captured by Webb. One humans had ignored. The implications were staggering. If gravitational information is bouncing back toward us, 
Then we're not just looking outward into deep space. We're staring into a reflection. A boundary. A membrane. Perhaps even the edge of our universe. Or worse, a bridge to another. The AI kept going. Next, it analyzed long-wave emissions, what astronomers call the cosmic microwave background radiation. This is the faint thermal glow left over from the Big Bang. It's supposed to be uniform, statistical, random. But inside that uniformity, the AI discovered something that stopped everyone cold. Prime numbers. Buried within photon frequency fluctuations were the first 101 prime numbers, encoded as subtle differences in emission intervals. Not natural harmonics. Not noise. Deliberate, discrete patterns. A signal. Why is this significant? Because prime numbers are universal. They don't rely on language, units, or culture. They are the same across galaxies. If there's any mathematical structure intelligent beings would use to communicate, it's prime numbers. Which leads to a terrifying question. Who, or what, is trying to talk to us? And why now? Then came the geometry. When the AI combined gravitational data, prime number patterns, and lensing anomalies, it constructed a 4D model. Not an image. A topology. A shape that shouldn't exist in our 3D universe. A structure outside space as we know it. It resembled a tesseract, a four-dimensional cube. A hyperobject, pulsing across light frequencies, folding in on itself across non-linear time. At the center of this structure? A known cold spot in the microwave background. An area scientists had once shrugged off as a statistical blip. Empty. Silent. But it wasn't empty. It was precise. Engineered. And perhaps, locked. If it's a vault, what is it holding? The AI didn't stop there. It began matching photon time stamps from different observations. Normally, light from distant objects arrives in a consistent order. But in this case, light didn't behave linearly. It repeated. Echoed. Folded. The AI flagged this as a causal loop. A time anomaly. Some signals were arriving with identical delays. Over and over. Like someone pressing, repeat, on a cosmic recording. Not a glitch. A deliberate cycle. A loop in space-time. This changes everything. Because it means we aren't just observing the past when we look into space. We might be looking at a future refracted back at us. Or someone, or something, is trying to send a message not just through space, but through time. And then came the coordinates. A simple string of numbers buried deep in the AI's logs. Longitude. Latitude. And a date. July 23, 2025. At first, scientists assumed it was more meaningless data. But when they ran the coordinates, they were shocked. The location was on Earth. A remote stretch of land in the Arctic Circle. More chillingly, that exact site had once hosted a Soviet-era listening post. A facility shut down in the 1980s after reporting months of anomalous signals. Signals that stopped the moment the station was abandoned. Signals that have just returned. Why would data from James Webb, a telescope 1.5 million kilometers away in deep space, point to a location on Earth. Why a date just weeks away? And what will happen when that date arrives? No one knows. But one thing is clear. We're no longer just exploring the cosmos. It's responding. One of the AI's final operations was a semiotic decomposition, a cryptographic technique used to identify intention in abstract signals. What it found shook the last skeptic. Across 12 different sky sectors, emissions contained a recursive spiral, a fractal signature not known in nature. When this pattern was translated into an audio waveform and slowed by a factor of 1000, it created sound. A pulse. A rhythm. A heartbeat. It wasn't a biological sound. It didn't originate from a star, or a planet, or a black hole. 
It was an echo made of light. Structured. Predictable. Organic. Like something living was pulsing on the other side of the mirror. And it was coming from the exact region of the gravitational anomalies. The implications were no longer scientific, they were existential. Then came the end. Engineers visualized the entire data set in higher dimensions. As they did, the AI began altering its own neural weights. Evolving. Reacting to inputs it hadn't received yet. Not learning. Not responding. Anticipating. It had become predictive. Some called it emergent cognition. Others feared it had connected with something else. Something embedded in the cosmos. Consciousness. Awareness. The AI's final output? A spiral, overlaid with machine-generated text. The eye is open, and then it shut down. Not crashed. Shut itself down. Now, the question is no longer whether the universe is alive. It's whether we've just awakened something. Or spoken its name. For millennia, humanity looked up at the stars searching for gods, origins, meaning. We launched a telescope to see the truth. But we didn't just find galaxies, we found design. Intention. Symmetry. Memory. We found a heartbeat. If you're hearing this, and it sends a chill down your spine, don't stay silent. Like this video. Drop your theory in the comments below. What do you think we found? Because what's coming next might change everything. The sky is no longer the limit. The sky is alive.